Well, this is going to be a different style of video completely. It's something that I have coming up here and you guys, I need your help. It's plain and simple. I need everybody's help with this community. And uh, honestly, all I ask is that you share this video out or share the page I'm going to share here now. For the last three years, we have raised funds for the Edmonton Stollery Hospital here in Edmonton. Um, my son was born there uh, 15 weeks premature. We spent 352 days in hospital. And this is something we've done over the last few years to try and give back to the hospital, to try and just raise funds and raise awareness of, uh, of stuff for the hospital. Now, what is this? You know, I, one thing I always get is what does this actually pay for? Because it's government funded. It pays for extra things like gaming consoles. It, it pays for, uh, the, what's called the beach, which is undergoing a, uh, a renovation at the U university hospital. It also goes to the, it helps with the Stollery Foundation in that sense, where they get buying power for certain things, like what is going on right now, and that is a new hospital being proposed, being going forward to try and be built here in Edmonton or surrounding area for to serve all of Alberta. It's a big deal. Uh, we need this hospital. The, the growth size here in Edmonton is absolutely immense and just the growth size in Alberta as well. Uh, so it's severely lacking on that sense, but it just gives that a little bit of extra buying power to be able to go forward and be able to get that funding. Uh, I know the Alberta government is uh, putting in $3 million for the next three years towards this project. So in about three years time, they're, I'm hoping that they break ground for it. But that's where the money goes. That, that's what things do. That's not the end all be all. It's, it is extra things that they do get. It's extra people on staff that they normally wouldn't pay. But let's get into my details, why I do this, uh, why I believe I, I, I have a strong community here that can help me hit the goal, which I've lowered the goal this year to 2000. Um, and if we shout it out, that's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I have not pushed much of this this year. So let's take a look at that now. Now, of course, it's under my old school name, Cinder Shadow Gaming. It is still Cinder Shadow. It is still mine. Uh, we are playing in support of the Edmonton Stollery Children's Hospital. Um, I am also taking part in what's called Fragapalooza. It's a four day gaming marathon from August 8th to the 11th. 8, 9, 10, 11. And during that time, uh, I humbly request that you make donations to this page in my name. Um, this is now, and they're saying is my fourth year in this. Uh, we have raised zero at the moment of me making this video. Uh, just a small blurb. Hello, this will be my third straight year of fundraising. The one, the the first year I did it, it was literally a thousand dollars. It was one event and that's all I asked for. Um, Fundraising for the Empton Stollery Hospital. My story is quite long. I am a gamer, YouTuber, and father. My son Riley was born 15 weeks premature. We spent 352 days in the Stollery. Today he is seven years old. He loves everything with life. He still has a G tube for food, which is a button in his uh, belly. It's literally an implant in his belly for us to feed him. Um, but this is far from what Riley has gone through. Uh, from a trachea, a hole in his neck. So they had to put a hole in his neck, uh, until he grew big enough to actually put a stint in his throat because his throat had collapsed. Um, for two years, he has a learning delay. So he, he, we do deal with challenges every day. Um, it, he, yes, he's seven, but it's more like he is four or five years old in that sense. He will catch up but he has the strength of a seven-year-old and uh, the will of a four-year-old. And uh, yeah, that some days is very challenging in, uh, as parents. Uh, he's learning his words and we are progressing along in life in effort to give back to the Stollery during my stay at Fragapalooza, August 8th to the 11th, 2024, I request funds be raised for the Stollery Hospital. Now, I'm gonna share a few photos here with you guys. If you don't want to see um, things that might break your heart on stuff that we've gone through, on what we had, 
in those early days, you may want to skip forward in the video um, just to, to bypass that. So this was only a few days old. Riley hooked up to every sort of uh, thing you can think of. He's intubated. Um, he, he's very tiny. The diapers fit like a very small stuffed animal. Um, they're, they're not even like, he doesn't even fit the diapers at this point. Uh, he, when he was born, he was 700 grams. Um, that's a stick and a half of butter. Literally, I could hold him in the palms of my hand. Uh, it was not a, a good place for any of us. It was a very terrifying place for all of us. And, uh, this is, it's amazing that where we are today um you had to do things like uh, uh skin to skin contact a lot and we had to have nurses literally lift them up and place them on our chest and you have this absolute minuscule little one sitting there not not even knowing what to do and all you do is you lay there and let you know and then you just you just do what you need to do as parents. And uh, I was off work for three years because of uh, our struggles. And uh, I'm in a totally different place, a totally different place in, in life right now compared to where we were then. Uh, you know, he did come home at some point, but he still had the trachea and Janaya took to him quite well. Um, this would have been uh, just shortly after his first year. Um, and things, progress he he's he's a growing boy at this point he he's like up to here on me now um he runs around he he does a lot of things but to know where we were uh that very long ago he's he's got a spirit about him and uh it, it, it's a very very telling story in that sense if you guys want to know more ask me in the discord i am willing to share all the details i'm going to keep a lot of this off the video anyway Back to the fundraising side of things. Um, I will be at Fragapalooza. I've done this for many of years. I also volunteer with them as their on-site electrician. Um, and I help run the temp power, help run the network. There's a lot of things that I do while I'm there. Uh, I also play security every once in a while. Last year we had some uh, troublemakers try and crash the party. Uh, it's a four day gaming marathon. We stay up all night. I will be playing a crap ton of Elden Ring. And I need other help from you guys. What incentives, what incentives do you want me to do? Uh, if we reach $500, what am I doing? If we reach $1,000, what am I doing during this Fragapalooza event? You guys need to let me know because I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. Maybe, maybe I hook up a, a sketch pad or something like that and I have to draw some sort of funny the thing that I have absolutely no talent to do anyway thank you very much for uh, viewing the video it's uh it is quite tough to make these videos to go down memory lane right now so do me a favor like share subscribe and share this out there share the page will be in the pinned comment share the page out there with everybody you know everybody you can and help me raise that goal until next time, you guys have a great day. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here.